I saw a child of God walking and weeping. As their tears dropped to the ground, they were absorbed into the soil and were sprouting a harvest of beautiful flowers behind them. Beloved, I have seen you going forth sowing precious seed with your tears. The seed is my word. Your planting is not in vain, dear one. Oh no, for your seed is springing up and sprouting and shall become a harvest of amazing proportions. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. This seed is miracle seed, supernatural seed, for a supernatural harvest. I am still the miracle worker, dear one. I am the husbandman. I care for you and nurture you. Like seeds in the wind, so shall my goodness scatter and multiply in your life. My word, which goes forth from my mouth, it will not return to me empty without accomplishing what I desire and without succeeding in the matter of which I sent it. My holy rain is falling upon your seeds. Remember not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? Yes, beloved, I will even make a way in the wilderness, in rivers in the desert. The harvest is now, my love. You shall blossom like the vine. I am the vine, he that goes forth and weeps. Bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. Psalm 126, 5 They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. He that goes forth and weeps, bearing precious seed, shall doubtless come again with rejoicing, bringing his sheaves with him. 2 Corinthians 9, 9 as it is written, He has scattered abroad His gifts to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. Now He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your store of seed and will increase the harvest of your righteousness. You will be enriched in every way to be generous on every occasion. Isaiah 55.10 for as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there without watering the earth, and making it bear and sprout, and furnishing seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so will my word be which goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty without accomplishing what I desire, and without succeeding in the matter for which I sent it. Isaiah 61.11 For as the earth brings forth its sprouts, and as a garden causes the things sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. Hosea 14.7 Those who live in his shadow will again raise the grain, and they will blossom like the vine.